Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. I'm happy to present you with some fresh Simu news. We've been a bit starved for information recently, so this surprise release is very welcome. Simu version 1.11.0 is releasing tomorrow evening Central European time on October the 24th for $5 plus patrons and a week later for free to the public as always. Let's go through the key points of the next release. Native online play. The option to use your Nintendo account and me from your console account dot that file dump. Fixed certain audio crashes. Cafe OS libraries reworked for better accuracy regarding saves, memory management and account handling. Recompiler and interpreter bug fixes. Input bug fixes. Graphic improvements, mostly Splatoon is affected. This next point is something I find very interesting. Installation of game updates and DLCs via Simu's UI. Now at the minute for installing updates and DLCs, it's not too complicated, but it's a little bit involved. So I'm going to be very interested to see how they implement this through Simu's UI. Next up, several new profile options, details to follow in the near future. Then we have another very interesting point which says minor optimizations which claim that it is 3 to 7% faster versus version 1.10.0. Then moving on improved memory management designed to hopefully increase compatibility. Now previously announced online play currently works with Splatoon, Mario Kart 8 and Super Smash Bros. What doesn't work yet is friends lists, Miiverse and Super Mario Maker. Native online play will require that you own a Wii U because server security needs genuine dumped files and uses official servers. I'll link to a preliminary guide below. This online functionality is not complete yet and has some limitations. Future updates will improve online support and more and more games should be compatible. Now let's finish on a bit of game compatibility news. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate finally boots in Simu 1.11.0. They say it's not very playable and suffers from flickering and crashes, but it does boot and go in-game as shown in the preview video, which is a huge leap from not booting at all. They say it took two years and more than 100 hours of debugging. It was tested on EU version 1.2. So there you have it, the news regarding Simu 1.11.0 coming out tomorrow, Tuesday, October the 24th for patrons and a week later for the public. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch. If you enjoy what you see, remember to hit that like button before you leave. And if you would like to watch further content from me, make sure to subscribe. Take care, have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video.